I don't think anyone can imagine, I hope they never experience it, the feeling of losing a child. It's unlike any other grief. It's like any other, unlike any other loss. And as bad as that nightmare is, the feeling that no one's helping, that no one's looking, and the institutions that are supposed to protect your children don't and don't care. I felt that way until I met Senator Hawkins. And my feelings are for her are about as strong as one can imagine because she's concerned with the welfare of children in this country. She has battled for their rights. She has stood up when others wouldn't stand up. She has battled a system that didn't work. And even though there is little reward or recognition in the passage of legislation for children, she still continues to battle for those little silent voices. Paula Hawkins, unique, irreplaceable. Drugs, crime, busts, raids, more crime. The more we do, the more the drug problem grows. But Senator Paula Hawkins had an idea. Use military equipment and American foreign aid to stop drugs before they cross our borders. I say that countries that grow illegal drugs should lose their foreign aid. Why give them money if they're poisoning us? Senator Hawkins of Florida begins a one-woman mission to stop drugs at their source. The Senate passes the Hawkins Amendment. If countries won't cooperate in stopping drugs, cut off their foreign aid. Hawkins gets helicopters for Columbia to spray drug fields, nip drugs while they're still growing. She gets radar stations in blimps to guard against Caribbean drug traffic. Senator Hawkins is the Senate's general in the war on drugs. She's getting military equipment to the countries to fight the drug producers, and it's making a big, big difference. Before Paula Hawkins, we just chased after drug dealers. Now we're going after drugs where they come from. Senator Paula Hawkins, unique, irreplaceable. 